Welcome back to my channel. In this video, let us study the general characters of platyhelminthes. Platyhelminthes are commonly known as flatworms. They are soft-bodied invertebrate animals. There are around 20,000 species of these animals. Platyhelminthes can be found in varieties of environments such as marine, freshwater and terrestrial habitats. Some species are free living while others are parasitic means living on humans and other animals. Most flatworms exhibit bilateral symmetry means their bodies can be divided into two equal halves along a single plane. The most distinguishing features of these invertebrate is their flat body. Flatworms do not have body cavity that's why they are flat and are called acelomates. Flatworms have three primary tissue layers, that is, they are triploblastic, and the three layers are the outer ectoderm, middle mesoderm, and inner endoderm. They exhibit an organ system grade of organization. If we talk about the different system, the digestive system is completely absent in few species. In others, it is present but is incomplete with only mouth but no anus. Mouth leads to a branched gastrovascular cavity. In the parasitic form, nutrients are absorbed from the host directly through the body wall. Respiratory and circulatory systems are absent. In fact, the respiration generally occurs by simple diffusion through the body surface. Flatworm possess specialized flame cells that are responsible for osmoregulation and excretion of a waste product. They have a relatively simple nervous system consisting of a pair of ganglia serving as their brain. Nerves extend from the ganglia throughout the body. Some species like planaria shows high regeneration capacity. Flatworms can reproduce sexually and asexually. Some species are hermaphrodite means both male and female organs are present in the same body. Sexual reproduction happens through gametic fusion. Asexual reproduction happens in few species through regeneration and fission. Fertilization is internal and development is through many larval stages. The life cycle of some of these organisms is complex, especially if they are parasitic as it involves one or more host animals.